juicy. Mm -hmm. This is a juicy coffee. Juicy. Yeah. Juicy is the word, yeah. Mm. This one has some aromatic fireworks, doesn't it? <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Wow. Delicious. The aroma here, which is for those who are not tasting or smelling the coffee, is extraordinary and intense. And it's a kind of aroma that I like to call layered. By that I mean that it ha there are a lot of notes, a lot going on in it, but uh, it's so um, knit together that it's harder to pick out individual notes. It's fruit toned for sure. If I had to pick one fruit, it might be peach. What do you get? Yeah, peach is good. Peach is good. I would think more maybe peach, like orange maybe. Orange, yeah. Kind of nice ripe orange. But again, it's a kind of a layered fruit that uh, all wow, yeah. very clean, attractive fruit. There's definitely a, a deep sweetness in the nose that's uh, caramel would be a good descriptor. No chocolate, n not much anyhow. I'd have to go look I, for it, but it's uh, definitely no. caramel. And then there are fl flowers. Yeah. Floral and sweet. I would say, th in this case, I'd go lily, probably. Lily, yeah, okay. As I said, it's kind of layered and deep. It has not only a variety of aromatic notes, but they go deep and interweave. Like many great aromatic cups, the first taste is disappointing. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a little <laughs> sad. <laughs> but it'll uh, it'll get there as it cools. Also, yeah. I think um, I'm getting that complexity in the finish, in the aftertaste. I guess it's a good time to bring this up. You know, a lot of I think everybody initially wants a really super hot cup of coffee, and and you know I've gotten to the point where I let it sit for a few minutes. Longer than, well, I, we can't naturally do that and, and be able to remain productive. But but I'm saying that I, I understand why people do things to cool their coffee down. Because I, I think the taste really comes forth at a, at a lower temperature. Yeah, it does. There's no doubt about it. When we cup coffees, I count. I don't know about my colleagues. They may have different approaches. But I, I count on on the coffee after it's stabilized after about three or four minutes. Actually, three or four minutes after the first taste. So that's is about mm. seven or eight minutes after it's uh, brewed. Probably the uh, best place to begin to make judgments about uh, the taste in the cup. Mm. But we have to do it hot because the aroma is so terrific, you know? Yeah, I know. It's it just, yeah, it's just it, sort of... Uh, Mm. work down as the cup cools yeah well the good news is it comes forth yeah kind of settle into it it settles down and we settle into it but do you notice the finish kevin it's remarkable it's long and it has most of those notes that we talked about yeah that it doesn't fade does it no and it's right balanced the and juicy this is a juicy coffee juicy yeah. Juicy is the word, yeah. It just stays. <laughs> the uh, mouthfeel is uh, not full particularly, but it's plush and lively. We wow. talk at Coffee Review a lot about lively mouthfeel, and it's, it's a difficult concept to get at, but some mouthfeel, there's just things happening. There are sort of currents in it. That's the case here. It has a kind of a bitter sweetness, but the sweetness prevails in the finish. Oh, it's such a fine finish in this cup. It's as good as wow, the yeah. uh, it's as good as the nose. We'll probably find some of these notes in the heart of the cup after it cools a little bit. Superb wow. coffee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this is a is, real winner. This is, uh, <laughs> This is this is Ethiopia at its best, it, and now I'm thinking about the processing method. It's almost it has to be a natural. Um, well, I suppose I, it could uh, be. Uh, I don't think it is though, anaerobic. 
Uh, I think it's a good natural, probably. You're, you're, <sighs> you're smirking. We blew it again. No, I'm not sure I'm smirking. I'm just trying to make sure I... You have I the right got coffee. Right. Well, I know the coffee I have, but when I reveal, I, I think we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way the initial uh, taste, which is dominated by a kind of a bittersweet drying character, resolves itself into the aromatics, into the flavor after you swallow or after it sits, settles in the mouth. There's, there's still that bitter edge right in the finish, I suppose, but it's an attractive bit. bitterness. Really, if someone would be a quintessential coffee to explain to someone what finish was and the concept of, of long-lasting taste. You could have long-lasting taste, it's not very pleasant, but in this case... Right, and that's that's not true in this superb. case. Yeah, it's superb, it just opens <laughs> up. Really nice. And yeah. uh, I remember when I used to work mm. uh, a little bit uh, with retail, very short period in my life, w as a consultant, we choosing, helping people choose coffees. Often talk about the importance of finish of aftertaste, that it's something that people don't take into account, but it profoundly influences whether they like the coffee and whether they come back to the shop again. <laughs> it's, it's right, it's, uh, of yeah. course, it's the yeah. last thing right. you remember, sure. and that's what brings you back. Right. This has got it, yeah, this has got so, it. Wow. So what's the coffee, Kevin? I can't wait to find out what Who our are these people that are going to be so grateful to us? <laughs> All right, well, I don't know what to expect. Oh, I'm teasing you still. Here we go. I'll flip it back over. This is, they have a real unusual packaging. This is Mod Cup. Do you know who I'm talking about? They're, they're in yeah. uh, Jersey City. Right. And uh, we taste they, many uh, of their coffees at Coffee Review. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Because yeah. I, uh, I, I met them at Coffee Con in New York. And we. I, I just really like their coffee. I've even gone and visited them back a couple of times. And Travis is the person I know there. But uh, Kevin, what uh, what is the process? This is what I'm most curious. Oh about. well, and this is wash. This is a wash wash process. Okay, let me give you the skinny. They get they. By the way, I want to say they give a lot of information if people are interested. Yes, it is heirloom wash process. Hand-picked at peak well, ripeness, of course. Floated to further remove def defects. Depulped, wet, fermented in parchment for 100 hours with water changed every 24th. Dried on raised beds in a parabolic shade net for 15 days. Yeah, that's a very typical processing uh, protocol for, for good wet mills in Ethiopia. So uh, it's a washed coffee, which surprises me a little. I... It surprises me because it's maintained so much of the uh, fruit and floral notes, but also presenting them in a kind of a complex depth that I associate a little bit more with natural processing. But it's a beautiful. It couldn't be much better. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we, well, you know, we can just stop now. <laughs> <laughs> because it's uh, as it cools, the um, a lot of the uh, aromatics are uh, are available now, as it as it's warm rather than hot. Uh, it's beautiful. And so, uh, well, three coffees, three misses here on the processing method. But we got a real hit here in terms of, <laughs> of excitement and beauty. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I, this is the kind of cup that, you know, that I, this is why I drink coffee. 